It is said that change is in the DNA of every retailer. That is why it requires vision to keep up with the ever-changing times and needs of customers. One Filipino retailer's story that has continued to amaze us is that of SM's. Henry C. Sr., who has been honored as the father of Philippine retail, founded SM in 1958 as a shoe store in downtown Manila. Since that time, SM has become much more, phenomenally evolving into a department store, a chain of retail stores, and later, shopping malls. Today, its holding company, SM Investments Corporation, which is known for growth, innovation, and leadership, is one of the country's leading conglomerates. But SM's roots are in retailing. Mr. C has said that his children were growing up at the same time his business was starting, so that they had exposure to it early on in life. Mr. C instilled in his children the importance of good values in business, hard work, determination, integrity, and optimism. But they also have their innate instincts and learn very quickly, he says. I call them my teammates, and they have each developed their own area of expertise in the business. When SM evolved from a shoe store to a department store in the 1970s, his eldest daughter Tessie was his teammate, especially in the merchandising and marketing aspects. Challenged by her father to fill up the new store in Makati, she did much more. With her keen pulse of the market, her impeccable taste and vision, she made SM a fashion destination, developing ready-to-wear in the Philippines, as well as homegrown designers. One of these was Cesar Galbo. During those days, she was very close to, closely to the designers. What I've learned from her is, is that she really makes plans um, beforehand, more of really having fun while, while, while thinking and working. But more than fashion, SM, as the iconic jingle goes, has become known to have it all. Through her retail expertise, SM developed retail stores for niche markets, now totaling 300 stores. And today, Tessie continues to oversee the growth of these stores. Recently, the SM Retail Group was inducted into the Hall of Fame of Retail Asia's Top 500 Awards after being awarded the Best of the Best Award for three consecutive years. When SM built its first shopping center, SM City North Edsa, in 1985, Tessie again was her father's teammate, this time working with tenants for the mall. Miss Tessie Sikosong has a strong affection so it towards the brand, towards the stores, and that's pretty much in line with how we do business in Uniqlo. You are not just visionary, you are evolutionary. What you have done with the legacy of your father is truly a world-class achievement. Thank you for always going the extra miles, not just for your company, but for us, your business partners. I will always be your biggest fan. Ms. Koson today also works closely with the group small operations as advisor to the board of directors of SM Prime Holdings, which now has 48 malls and is being led by her brother Hans. With today's shifts in consumer tastes, Desi's vision has brought more upscale, global brands into the mix. From a franchise with Ace Hardware to a joint venture with Watson's. More recently, SM Retail has entered into joint ventures with global brands like Forever 21, Uniqlo, Sweet Blanco, and Uno de Cincuenta, bringing more fashion excitement to the market. Castesi has a global mindset, and that's how he's able to bring his the SM group into world prominence. I would like to congratulate Ms. Carson for receiving the PLA Preston Award. Ms. Carson was instrumental in our entry and expansion in the Philippines. Her guidance has helped make Forever 21 one of the most successful fast fashion brands in the Philippines. We are so grateful for all that Ms. Carson and SM Group have done for us and look forward to a continued partnership. Uh, I am glad to hear uh, you as the uh, best woman digital reader in Philippines. 
I always uh, appreciate your cooperation and your help and your uh, talent. And this is uh, very natural for me to hear. You are the, one of the best CEO of our business all over the world. Congratulations. I am very happy uh, to hear this big news. Congratulations from Uno de 50 for this award. On the global stage, she was named one of Fortune magazine's 50 most powerful women in business for 10 years and has been in Forbes Asia's Power Business Women list for the past three years. These accolades and accomplishments through the years led the retail industry to celebrate with her. Desi, we're very proud that you are this year's PRA President's Awardee. We would also like to thank you for your commitment and your family's commitment to making Philippines a shopping destination in Asia. Congratulations, Tessie, for being PRA's Philippine Retailing Women's Visionary Leader. The award appropriately reflects you and all your achievements and major contributions to the Philippine retailing industry. Indeed, the SM brand's huge success can be attributed in no small part to your hard work and strategic vision. Congratulations, TSE, in receiving this year's most prestigious PRA President's Award. We are very proud of you, and of course, the honor is well deserved. Your hard work and determination to grow SM Retail has produced numerous success in all of your ventures. I wish you more success in the future. Congratulations, Tessie. You are most deserving of this award. May you have continued success and we wish you all the best. It is with earnest pleasure that I congratulate you on your achievement as Philippine Retailing's Woman Visionary Leader. I can think of no other individual more worthy of this prestigious title. Your insightful vision and commendable leadership has made SM the country's largest and most consistently successful retail conglomerate in the Philippines. Again, on behalf of the Philippine Retailers Association, our warmest congratulations. As one of the proponents of this award, I always advocate to give credit as to whom it is due. Like your father, you have received so many awards, recognitions from various institutions and organizations, but never from your own peers and from the industry as to where you started and truly belong. You didn't only earn this award, but you well deserve it. Ms. Tessie C. Cawson, congratulations, long life, and Godspeed. Truly, a woman that has gone beyond achieving her personal mission towards a global vision. So today, it is with pride that the Philippine Retailers Association presents this year's President's Award the Philippine Retailing's Woman Visionary Leader to Miss Tessie C. Kosoy.